welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. In the series of videos that I'm doing for the flyby by Airbus A380, this is going to be another one in which I will show you how to perform takeoff and fly this plane on autopilot. Today I'm doing this uh, flight from uh, Dubai to Istanbul and plane is ready for the flight. Before this, I've uploaded videos in which I've shown you how to install the flyby by Airbus A380 and then how to configure the EFB and the FMS of this plane and then how to start this plane from the cold and dark state. Now this video is related to takeoff and autopilot. I will give you all the links in the description and you can just go and follow any of the link as per your learning curve for this plane. Now the plane is ready for the taxi. So what I'll do is this, I will just uh, release the parking brakes and uh, I will just give a little bit of power. That's it. And now I can just zoom in to get the taxi ways. This is actually the runway. That's it. So you just have to follow this. You can see everything is good now. Now I've pressed comma and this uh, <laughs> error has also disappeared. So the QNH is now 1001 for the takeoff. Because in the previous video I was pressing comma to get uh, the readings but it was not disappearing. So I think there's this bug in the plane which might get fixed. I'm using the 4K development version of this plane. The speed is increasing, so let me just reduce the thrust a bit. Now the plane is uh, near the runway. I will just hold short of the runway. And uh, I will just configure this plane for the takeoff and we'll give you some briefing related to the takeoff. So this is runway 30 lift. I can apply the parking brakes. So over here you have to uh, set this light to take off and that's it. Now just go to the checklist and uh, uh, you have this option lineup. So lineup, take off runways, both. That's it. Packs one and two on. So the packs are on. That's it. You have this control. You can just like can interact with it. So the packs are on for the air conditioning. That's it. And now the checklist is complete. Now for the takeoff, what I'm going to do is this. First of all, I will change this view. And uh, because I know, know where I am right now. So no need for this airport navigation. That's it. And um, I have to, you know, set it to arc this option so that I can see this. Constraints should be on. I will be able to see all the constraints during the flight for the for the speed and for the altitude. That's it. Now, um, once I'm on the runway, I will give 50% of power and then I will move the thrust levers to this option, flex to temp. This is actually a redu reduced thrust. So that's, I think, yeah. Now they're in the idle position. So this is where the thrust levers will be for the takeoff, not over here at Toga, which is takeoff and go around. So I will um, push the side stick a bit forward, as you can see, till 100 knots. This will give me a better control on the runway. And then after 100 knots, I can just release this. And that's it. So let's uh, release uh, the parking brakes. And uh, let's give some power. and move the plane to the runway. Just uh, make sure that the flight director is on. And uh, now the speed and the altitude and the heading, everything is in the manage mode. So if you just bring your cursor over here and you see the up arrow. If you press these knobs, everything will be in the manage mode. So after the takeoff, I will just take you through this uh, manage mode and selected mode difference. Now I'm on the runway. 
So let's uh, push the stick forward. And let's get 50% of power once the engines spool up. Move to flex. And that's it. Now you can see this flex is shown over here. Brake RTO. Speed reference system is on, which is used for your vertical navigation. And that's it. And this, you can see the nav mode is armed. Now I can release the side stick. This is V1 and this is VR. V1. And now I can rotate, slightly pull back on the stick, not more than 10 degrees. That's it. And now you have the positive rate of climb. So gears up. Now you have to actually climb in such a way that the speed remains over here. So if you want to reduce the speed, increase the vertical speed. And if the speed reduces a lot, then you have to decrease the vertical speed. So this is just to show you. So now I'm actually maintaining the vertical speed in such a way that the speed doesn't go more than this. That's it. And I have the navigation over here as well. Soon the plane will be crossing. Yeah. Now the thrust levers to climb. That's it. Now you can see the thrust levers are set to climb and uh, I can turn on the autopilot. And now you can see the autopilot is adjusting the vertical speed in such a way that the speed is maintained. Now you can see the vertical speed is reducing so that the speed increases. This is the speed after which I can retract the flaps. There is this uh, constraint over here for 180 knots, after this 190 knots and then at this point, 220 knots. Uh, whether you can see inoperable. That's it. So this is how you take this plane up in the air. Easy to do. <laughs> not a uh, difficult thing. So right now, I will not uh, retract the flaps. And uh, plus, uh, all the lights are on. And the si uh, seatbelt signs are also on. <laughs> I was about to say side seats. Side, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tongue twister. Anyhow. And the ground spoilers will be armed. So after 10,000 feet, I will turn off the lights. Now you can see the speed is increasing. It is 190 knots. So I will just uh, wait for some time and then I can retract the flaps. Because at this point, the speed will be 220 knots. So it will go up to this point. And that's it. Now you can see the speed has increased, so I can just like now. Speed is increasing. You can see the vertical speed is decreasing. And I can now retract the flaps. And that's it. Now you can see the speed is increasing. And this is the green dot speed. And this is the speed at which the plane can fly without any flaps and slats. Now the vertical path is even shown over here. And the plane will actually follow this vertical path. Uh, now what I'll do is this, I will just take you through different modes of uh, the autopilot. So first of all, let's start with the climb mode. Right now the climb is in the uh, manage mode. You can see climb is appearing over here. But if I bring my cursor over here and uh, once I see the down arrow, I press it. And now you will see open climb. Now in open climb, uh, for any restriction, if it's there for the altitude, the plane will actually not follow that constraint. And it's also applicable for the descent. So now it's an open climb and the plane will keep on climbing. But if I press this, this button again, once I see the upper arrow, then now it's in the climb mode, which is the manage mode. Then there is another mode, which is the vertical speed mode. So if I bring the cursor over here and if I press it, once I see it's not working. Yeah, now it worked. So right now you can see the vertical speed is 1000 feet per minute. In this mode, uh, the vertical speed is uh, the priority. So right now you can see that uh, vertical speed is 1000 and the speed is maintained. So let's say if I increase the vertical speed, I take it up like, like um, up to like 3000. Now as uh, the vertical speed is the priority, so the speed will reduce. You can see this dot. After this, the speed uh, will also increase because below 10,000 feet, the speed should not be more than 250 knots. So that's why it's maintained over here. 
So let me further increase the vertical speed. Let's say if I go for 4,700. Now you can see the climb rate is increasing and the speed is reducing because climb rate is the priority. So if I just uh, bring my cursor over here, once I see the up arrow, I press it again, the vertical speed will disappear and the plane will go in the manage mode. As you can see, it's there. Climb. And now the vertical speed will redu reduce and the speed will increase. Now, as you can see this, uh, anything in this color, it's managed. And now the speed will further increase and you can see the vertical speed will decrease. So this is how you basically change different modes for the climb and for the altitude. Now for the speed, again the speed is in the manage mode, if I just uh, press uh, this button again once I see the down arrow, then uh, now it's in the selected mode. Now you can see the color has changed. If I bring it back to the manage mode, you will see this color. So this color is for the manage mode and this is for the selected mode. Now um, in this case, the speed is the priority. So let's say if I reduce the speed. If I just take it to 250, now you can see the vertical speed is increasing. So the thrust will not change, the thrust will remain constant. But in order to reduce the speed, the plane's climb rate will increase in order to reduce the speed. And, it's a, and once the plane is at this speed, then the vertical speed will adjust itself so that the speed remains over here. So if you want to have a, an aggressive climb, so instead of using vertical speed, use this option, the speed and then you can have a higher climb rate. Now you can see the vertical speed is getting adjusted. So in this mode, speed is the priority and vertical speed is not the priority. So I can just uh, press this button again once I see the up arrow and it's back to the manage mode. Now you can see the color has changed and now the vertical speed is reducing. Now as I've also crossed the transition altitude, so I will uh, change the barometer pressure to standard. I'll just bring the cursor over here. Once I see the up arrow, I will change it. And even for the second instrument, if I press it over here, it'll go to standard. And that's it. So this was uh, related to speed as well. Now for the navigation. Right now you can see nav is shown over here. So uh, which means the plane is actually carrying out lateral navigation. It's following the flight path. I can uh, press this knob once I see the down arrow. If I press it, now it's in the heading mode. You can see heading is appearing over here. And the flight plan is no longer a solid line. Yeah. And now the plane is flying in the heading mode. In this mode, I can change the heading. You can see this heading bug and the plane will move left and right as per the heading given over here. And at any time, I can just press it again. Once I see the up arrow, the plane will start to follow the flight plan. Uh, and it will be back in the manage mode. Now let's say there is a deviation from the flight plan. So what I'll do is this, I will just set the heading to 10 degrees left. And now you will see over here on the navigation display, uh, this uh, deviation from the flight plan is shown, which is uh, 0.2 left towards the left. So it means 0.3 nautical miles towards the left deviation from the flight plan. And it will keep on increasing because you know there is a huge deflection. I will further increase the heading. I will, let's say, turn further left, 337 degrees. I know you can see there's a huge deflection. And this will keep on increasing because now the plane is not following the flight path. You can see it's no longer a solid line. But the plane is climbing. And now um, the climb rate is also, uh, the climb is also, not the rate, but the climb is uh, climb mode is also in the open climb mode because uh, the plane is not following the flight plan so there, uh, that's why there is no altitude constraint so that's why it's an open climb and the plane will keep on climbing now if i want to go back to this flight plan um, i can press this button and the plane should go back but it will not let me just show you so once i see the up arrow i press it you can see the plane is in the nav mode and uh, it has started to follow this flight plan which is interesting <laughs> interesting feature in this plane because in the A320 uh, um, and the 21 by any builds in the 350, 
if I do the stunt and I want to follow the flight plan so uh, I have to first of all uh, fly the plane on heading mode and then once I intercept this flight plan then it goes back but this is something really good about this plane so if you deviate from the flight plan you can just like go back any uh, any time by just going back into the manage board that's it so I didn't turn off the lights so the plane is above 10,000 feet <laughs> I can turn off the lights and uh, that's it and the logo I can set it to auto but the nav light and the beacon and the strobe will remain on throughout the flight and I can also disarm the ground spoilers and that's it now there is a discontinuity as well over here let me just go back to the flight plan and see yes there is a discontinuity I can delete it and uh, that's it let's see if there is any other discontinuity no so now the plane is back in the nav mode and now you can see the climb is an open climb so if, if I want to go back to the manage mode I can just press this button again and the climb is there so now it's in the manage mode so that's how you switch between different modes of the plane and uh, you just uh, switch between uh, vertical speed and speed in order to maintain uh, the vertical path of the plane which is shown over here so hopefully this was a useful video and you will now be able to fly this plane on autopilot it's really simple the Airbus planes are uh, very simple you can easily fly these planes and once you know how to fly uh, an Airbus then you can just fly any plane so if you've got any questions you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything uh, to this video the comment section is there for you now i will be just like waiting for the next uh, two and a half hours uh, for this uh, flight to finish and then i will record another video in which i will show you how to perform an ILS approach and landing and um, once again i will be giving you all the links in the description you can just go and follow any of the link and uh, plus uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel just need some good support from you guys Thank you very much for watching it. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.